Joining me is Dr. Jill, a professional here in Solutions, and today we're talking about earwax. Dr. Jill, Hi. how are you? Hi, I am doing well, thank yeah. you. So earwax is something that I deal with on the daily. Mm -hmm. um, for my patients who wear hearing aids, it helps if I can keep their ears cleaner um, so that their hearing aids work better and perform better mm -hmm. and less maintenance for them. Mm -hmm. So this machine here is called the Irrigator, and I purchased this several years ago, and it's probably one of the machines I use the most um, in my office. It is a state-of-the-art irrigation machine. It warms the water up to body temperature mm -hmm. because if water is too hot or too cold and you put it in your ears, it can create vertigo or really bad dizzy spells. So it warms it up to body temperature. Mm -hmm. um, so that's also just more pleasant sensation. And then the safety valve uses a safe amount of pressure to safely flush the wax out of the ears without the risk of harming your eardrum or ear canal, which is really important. Mm -hmm. So I love this machine and I've had a lot of patients come see me and have great experiences with it. If you don't like cleaning your ears out yourself or going mm -hmm. and have the doctor do it, this might be something that's beneficial for you to try out. So we also have irrigation and instruments, and then there are also over-the-counter earwax removal techniques as well that might work for uh, mild amounts of wax okay. before it gets really built up. And don't use Q-tips because they just pack it in and build it up. So I know I say that all the time, but it's true. It just makes it so much harder to get out of the ears. Mm -hmm. okay. And how can people get more information? Um, yeah, you can check out our website or you can give us a call. And we'd love to see if we can help you with your earwax. Dr. Jill, thank you very much for being here today. And I will not use a Q-tip. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. <laughs>